these shoes are to die for. You have excellent taste. They're priced at $7,000. That's such a steal. Well, I don't know about that. Can I get these? Please, please, please. Rachel, come on, honey. I mean, the shoes, they're lovely. But you've already spent over $10,000 today. Daddy, I'm only going to turn 16 once. Don't I deserve to have all the things that I want? Rachel, $7,000 for a pair of shoes, come on, it's ridiculous. No, 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 no! Okay, just please, just don't make a scene, okay? You win. I'll take these in a size six. I'm sorry, we only have them left in a size six and a half, but we can certainly order a pair in your size. With expedited shipping, should be here in three days. Perfect, that'll work out. See, there you go. But my birthday's today, not three days from now. It's not fair. Look, honey, come on. Listen, honey. I got an idea. What do you say you let me take you out to a fancy restaurant three days from now after the shoes get delivered? That way, you can try them out in style, honey. No! My birthday is today, and I want those shoes today. Rachel, please. What do you expect me to do, honey? I want you to fix this, or else my whole birthday is ruined. That is not fair, Rachel. I can't even right now. All this stress is so bad for my skin. Where are you going, young lady? To get a smoothie. By the time I get back, I expect you to have figured this all out. I want those shoes. Hi, uh, one blueberry blast, please. Okay. And my dad wants, dad, what are you gonna get? Um, um you know what, it's okay. I don't need a smoothie. But you love smoothies. I do, but I love you more and I can only have one. Are you serious? Who can't afford a smoothie? So, you guys are ready? If you're not getting one, I don't need one. No, no, not a chance. My birthday girl needs her birthday smoothie. Can you guys just please hurry up and order? Sorry. One blueberry blast, please. Okay, come right up. We'll call you when it's ready. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Okay. <laughs> Finally. Can I just get a strawberry mango swirl? Guess what? I have another surprise for you. Dad, I don't need anything else. Don't be so sure about that. I splurged a little for your birthday and got you these. Are these really for me? They're not your exact size, but with any luck, you, you're growing too. These are so cool. <laughs> Just in time too. My old shoes were really falling apart. <laughs> they actually fit pretty good. And they're really comfortable. <laughs> <laughs> are you serious right now? <laughs> Dad, what is it? What's wrong? Come on, talk to me. It's just that uh, you deserve so much more than old shoes, especially for your birthday. Can't help but feel like I've, I've let you down as a father. No, no, you didn't. These are perfect. It's okay, really. I don't need fancy things. All I need is you. You're the best father a girl could ask for. You've always been there for me, and I know you always will be. I love you so much. <laughs> I love you too. Yeah. Order up a uh, one blueberry blast. That's awesome. Mm. Hey, uh, I'm sorry. I didn't mean to listen in, but is it really your birthday? Yeah, it sure is. Happy birthday. It's mine too. Oh, that's fun. Um, thank you and happy birthday to you too. Mind if I ask you something? Sure. Are you really okay with some used shoes and a smoothie for your birthday? You don't want something better? Better? What more could I ask for? One blueberry blast for the birthday, girl. <laughs> mm, it's perfect. Thanks, Dad. Guess what? It's her birthday, too. A happy birthday, young lady. Thanks. 
Thank you, thank you. You are a lifesaver. And I owe you one. You got it. Gotta go. I have some great news. I pulled a bunch of strings and spent quite a bit of money, but your shoes are going to be delivered to the house tomorrow by 10 p.m. Oh. Hey, honey, I, I, I tried everything in my power to make this happen tonight, but there wasn't a store in the state that had your size in stock. It's okay. Really. It is? And you're sure? Okay. What's going on with you? I just realized how lucky I am to have a father who will go through so much trouble just to make me happy. I don't need those shoes to make my birthday special. You've already done it. Love you, honey. Thanks, Daddy. You're welcome. Wow. What a pleasant surprise. Is it too late to cancel the shoes and use the money for something else? Uh, sorry. Yeah, what do you have in mind? Thank you. You're welcome. Has this been the best birthday? It has. <laughs> Great. <laughs> Excuse me? Since it's your birthday, I thought you should have these. Happy birthday. Really? But why? Sounded like you could use them more than me. Wow, these are amazing. Thank you, really thank you, but I can't accept it. My dad already got me a pair of shoes for my birthday and I love them. Are you sure? You don't have to do this just for me. Positive. These shoes are perfect. Happy birthday, and thank you again. Happy birthday. Let's do it before, like, Mom comes. What are you doing here? Mom? Relax. Relax? I have been looking for you everywhere. You were supposed to meet me 30 minutes ago. Gee, if only I had a phone that I'm always asking you for, then maybe you could find me faster. Don't you dare give me attitude, young lady. Listen to me. You are too irresponsible for a phone. And I told you not to cut your hair. And I decided to get it cut anyways. It's my hair. I want to get it cut for our family vacation next week. What you want isn't what goes. What I say goes. Let's go. Let's go. Stop it, Mom! You are embarrassing me! You can't always be telling me what to do. I can. And oh, are you so grounded when you get home? That's not fair! Life's not fair, Kate. I said that's enough! You are so grounded! You are unbelievable, Mom! Do you know how embarrassing you are? Hey, hey, hey! What's wrong? You married a dictator. That's what's wrong. Do you see? Hey, 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 did you see that? Are you two fighting again? You'll never believe it. I told her specifically not to cut her hair. And where did I find her? A hair salon. Is that such a big deal? I mean, what's the harm? What's the harm? I gave her instructions that she did not follow. Honey, it's just a haircut. It's not about the haircut, okay, David? It's about her breaking the rules again. As long as she lives in this house under our roof, she's following our rules. Honey, okay? I really need you to support me on this. We're supposed to be a team. Thank you both for sitting down with me. What's going on? Well, you two have been fighting more and more recently, and I thought it would be very important to set some common grounds. <laughs> common ground? There is no common ground. It's always, always what she wants. Oh, watch yourself, young Hey, man. let's both just settle down, okay? I called this family meeting because starting tomorrow morning, you both are gonna switch roles with each other for the entire day. What? Have you lost your mind? Role playing is a very common therapeutic tool. Besides, both of you would very much benefit from seeing each other's perspective. You should never judge anyone until you can walk a mile in their shoes. I, there's no way. <laughs> there's no way I'm doing this. Yeah, me neither. I was afraid you, this was gonna happen and that's why I brought these. 
Unless you guys both do this, I'm canceling our family vacation. What? You can't do that. You can't be serious, David. You already paid the deposit? I will happily eat our deposit if it means getting my two girls to work through their problems. You're saying that I get to tell her what to do her whole day? No, it's not hard. Saying. But it also means that you have to do everything that your mother does for our family every day as well. Ha! <laughs> she, there's no way she can do that. It's whatever. I'm sure it's going to be easier than having you riding my back all day. Oh, is it? So, we're all in agreement. Agreed. Oh, it's on. Oh, good morning, daughter. You know you're not responsible enough for a phone. And you're too young to drink coffee. Come on, you can't do that. Oh, I can. I think the saying goes, my house, my rules. Well, if this is your house, here's a list of things you need to do today. You do all this in one day? You better get started. Oh, I will. And it'll be a piece of cake. And that reminds me, you're technically grounded. So go to your room. I'm making food. You're making a mess. Oh my God, you have to clean this up. I'm just trying to remember the last time you cleaned up after yourself. No. <laughs> I'll let you handle this. Ooh, this was good. Fine, go to your room and don't come back out. Why would she go in the tower in the first place? Stupid. Oh no. Grounded means grounded. Come on. I'm bored. You gotta look. I gotta have a little TV. I have the perfect thing. Here you go. Something to keep you occupied. Oh, no. I, I am not doing your math homework for you. No. Oh, you won't be. Technically, this is your math homework for the day, so uh, I expect a dumbo for dinner. It'll be a breeze. I don't remember this stuff. Oh no. No, 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 no. Is everything all right out there? Oh, fine, everything's fine. Just keep focusing on that math work. Did they change math? I mean, nothing here makes any sense. <laughs> That's because I'm an advanced calculus. It's not supposed to be easy. I, I guess I didn't realize how hard things were for you. Yeah, well, if it makes you feel any better, I'm starting to realize that being you probably isn't the easiest thing in the world either. Uh, this looks interesting. It's the best I can do, okay? You have no idea what kind of day I had.
How was your day, honey? Horrible. I've never been so bored in my life. Do you two have anything to say to each other? I'm sorry. I did not realize how overbearing and how overprotective I am of you. Sorry. I'm sorry too. You definitely don't have it easy, and my constant back talk definitely doesn't help. I love you, sweetie. I love you too, Mom. I even love your chicken. <laughs> All right. It looks like our family vacation's back on. <laughs> <laughs> Are you guys ready for our family vacation? Absolutely. <laughs> I'm not excited for the five hour plane ride though. Maybe this will help. Really? <gasps> Why not? I realized that you're way more responsible than I ever gave you credit for. Oh, thank you so much, Mom. I love you, Kate. You must be lost. McDonald's is a few doors down. I'm actually here to sign up. I'd like to become a member. <laughs> Look, no offense, but this gym isn't for people like you. I'm sorry, is there some sort of problem with me joining? We try to avoid a certain type of clientele, if you know what I mean. Maybe you should Think about it some more and come back tomorrow. I have thought about it a lot, actually. I I'll be real with you. Today is a really bad day for someone like you to join. The gym's new owner is coming by and I want them to be really impressed by our clientele. Not grossed out or saddened by them. Be that as it may, I... I think I'd really like to sign up today. I'm trying to make a positive change in my life and working out was the first step of my plan. <laughs> Fine, let's make this quick. Follow me. I've actually never really been to the gym before. You don't say. Are there any personal trainers on staff today who can help get me started? Nope, just me. Okay, uh, well, will you train me then? Sorry, can't. But I read online you provide free training for the first day of signups. Fine, but you have to promise that you'll be out of here before the new owner arrives. Uh, no problem. Let's get this over with. <laughs> I feel it in my knees a little. Is that normal? Yeah. How's my form? Am I doing it right? Uh-huh. That's fine. Are you sure? Uh, point your toes a bit straighter. You want to make sure that your knees cover your toes like this. Oh, wow. Yeah, that really makes a difference. <laughs> you want to make sure you go all the way down so you feel the burn in your glutes. There you go. Oh, I really feel the burn. Yeah. You did it. <laughs> Good work. <laughs> uh, thank you so much for those tips. It's actually my first time going to the gym. It's kind of overwhelming, and I'm kind of embarrassed about how little I know. I mean, look. Don't let that stop you, okay? The hardest part is walking through the door, and you've already done that. Good work. All right, all right, we're moving on to the next exercise. Come on, chop, chop. <sighs> That's it. Uh, you can go way harder than that. Uh, Let's really hear it. Uh, 
Hey, what's going on? Why are you recording her? Because it's hilarious. My friends on Insta are gonna love it. Delete that video right now. Get out of here, lady. Who do you think you are? Hey, what's going on? She's recording you for her Instagram account so she can make fun of you. Why would you do that? <laughs> Calm down. It's just a joke. Don't be a baby about it. It might be a joke to you, but it's not to me. This is something I've been struggling with my whole life. You see, I've always been insecure about my weight. I thought that that would go away as I got older, but it only got worse. That's when I decided to make a change. I wanted to finally take control and do something about it. So I decided to join a gym. But every time I worked up the nerve to sign up, I'd find a reason to back out. So you see, I finally worked up the courage to sign up and make that big change. But you really haven't made things easy for me. Sounds like you should have trusted your gut and not joined. This gym is for people who take working out seriously. Not some overweight girl who's never worked out a single day in her life. <laughs> Don't listen to her, okay? This gym is for anybody that wants to make a positive change in their lives. You don't get to decide that. I do. I'm the manager here. You may be the manager here, but I'm the new owner. No, you're not. The new owner is a man named... Taylor Davis. Yep, that's me. <laughs> I thought it was a man. Don't let the name fool you. I always have an anonymous workout before meeting my staff. It gives me a better understanding of how things are being run. And quite frankly, I've had enough of your rude and your nasty attitude. Look, it was just a big misunderstanding and I was just- Save it. Gyms are supposed to be a place where people can come and work out and not feel judged or made to feel less than. But you wouldn't know anything about that. Someone like you has no business training others, let alone managing a gym. You're fired. But I've been working here for three years. That's three years too many. Now get out before I have security escort you out. <sighs> I am so sorry how you retreated today. Okay, what you're doing here, it takes real courage. I don't know about that. Well, I know because I went through the same thing. Wow. Did you really lose all that weight just by going to the gym? In addition to making some lifestyle changes, yes. But you could do it too, if that's what you really want. I do want that. Very much. Good. Because I'm giving you a free lifetime membership here. Oh, really? Oh my gosh. Yeah, I'll even train you if you like, help you get started. I would love that. Well, it's good to work. Yeah. <laughs> That'll be twenty-seven fifty. Wow, really? That much? It's okay. I don't need anything. No, 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 no. It's uh, it's our anniversary. <laughs> um, Come on already. Let's go. I'm sorry. Just um, just one second. <laughs> That'll be twenty fifty. Right. Sorry. Can you believe this guy? If you can't afford it. Get out of the line. There are people waiting who actually have money. Still a dollar twenty-five short. Oh, sorry. Um, Come on already, let's go. You know what? Uh, we'll just take this. Thanks. Thank you. Have a good night. You too. Excuse me. Don't worry. Unlike some people, I actually have the money to pay for these. <laughs> You're literally eating children. <laughs> Do they taste? Great. <laughs> I mean, they're pretty delicious. Um, excuse me. Sorry. Excuse me? Oh. Mm -hmm. Sorry. Mm. 
I am so excited for this movie. Yeah. I mean, the, the trailer looked great. <laughs> mm, what's good is this popcorn and the fact that I could afford it. Hey, babe, I'll be right back. I just, uh, I gotta use the bathroom. Okay, hurry back, though. You don't want to miss the previews. So what's going on there? Is it, like, pity date or something? What? Why would you think that? Why else would you be going out with a guy who couldn't even afford to buy you snacks at a movie? Um, we're actually celebrating our two-year anniversary. Girl, what are you doing with a guy like him? What do you mean? If my boyfriend couldn't afford to buy me popcorn on our two-year anniversary, I'd dump him so fast. You need a real man with real money. I've always believed that money isn't everything. He has a huge heart. He always makes me laugh. He's incredibly loving, and I'm lucky to be with him. Uh, lucky? Okay, we have two different definitions of that word. See, lucky to me is my boyfriend. He's rich, successful, incredibly handsome. Just last week, he took me to Paris. We flew first class, four-star hotel, incredible food. It was amazing. Does your man take you on expensive trips? Well, no, not anything expensive, oh, but that's he's... so sad. You know, you should really dump him. He obviously doesn't care about you. If your man is so great, why isn't he here tonight? Oh, he'll be here. Don't worry. It's our anniversary, too. He even got me this ring. What'd your man get you? Oh, wait. He couldn't even afford the popcorn, so probably nothing. Look what I found. What? Babe, I thought you didn't have enough. Well, I, I didn't, so I went back to my car and I ducked through the seats, found some extra change, and voila. <laughs> How pathetic. You really did that for me? Of course. You once told me that popcorn makes the movie. I can't believe you remember that. That was on our first date. Yeah. You're the sweetest. Don't you mean the brokest? You know what? Mm. I think this could use a little bit more butter. Yeah? Yeah. Have no fear. I will fix this. You know, I'm really getting tired of your snide comments about my boyfriend. Oh, honey, I'm just looking out for you. You know, women supporting women. Looking out for me? You don't know anything about me? Or my man. I know that he's poor. Like, really poor. Is there really much else for me to know? Yeah, there is. You see, Tom may not take me on expensive vacations, but he makes every moment feel like a vacation. Watching movies and eating popcorn, it's all I need to be happy. And Tom may not have a lot of money for fancy gifts and restaurants, but he still puts in the effort to make sure I always feel special. So you see, he may not make a lot of money, but he spends time with me and always makes me feel special. And to me, that's what's important. I'm not sure that's as romantic as you think it is. That actually sounds miserable. He's a broke loser. Honey, you deserve so much better. Look, you know, I get where you're trying oh, to come from, look but- look who it is. My boyfriend. Watch and learn, sweetie. Hey, baby. The movie's about to start and I got all your favorite snacks. Uh, about that, um, I'm not gonna be able to make it. What? Why? We've been planning this all week. Look, just can't do it. We got clients coming in from Japan. I gotta take them to dinner. But it's our anniversary. What do you want me to say? Hey, babe, you're missing dinner. Who is she? And why is she calling you babe? And what, what? Ah, uh, that's just my assistant, Rachel. We're just working. It doesn't look like you're working. Chris, what is going on? Ah, uh, look, I didn't want this to happen this way, but I can't do this anymore. It's over, Katie. What do you mean? I mean, I'm with Rachel now, okay? Sorry. You're dumping me on our anniversary. Babe, please just... <gasps> Next time, you might want to pick a man who actually cares about you. Look, 
Now I'm just looking out for you. Women helping women. Hey, what did I miss? Um, nothing at all. Oh, this is perfect. <laughs> Thanks, babe. You're the sweetest. 